Mona? We're downstairs. Hey. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. I made a way around. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you on the other side. in some sort of cavern. There are signs that people have been here.
Incredible. Jonah, I'm at the next trial. The Eagle. It has something to do with the wind. I'm still tracking west. Heading downward now. There's an underground river. I can't carry any more. if it was the right way up. Need to find where to start the machinery.
thing. I've got to time this. to rope pull that barrier down. is too worn to hold the door. Yes, that'll hold. the way up.
face to face in a temple built in your honor. Jonah, I'm past the Eagle Trial. I must be closing in on the Hidden City. The view up here is amazing. The hidden city must be near. Laura, I made it through. I'm entering a cavern. Jonah? What's at the end of it? Stay here.
was close. Right. Jonah, I may have found it. The hidden city. I'm gonna look for the serpent with a silver eye. All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. I can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. Pull up. Can't carry any more. 
Hello? I don't have enough space for that. Who's there? Hello? I can help you. Get back! You don't belong here! Listen, I know it hurts, but... Mabutul! are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a researcher. Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is Paititi. You're already here. Paititi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You will risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. 
You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Etsli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. As the rebel leader, I have to be careful. I am the rightful queen, Unuratu. Etsli, you still owe me a scouting report. Yes, ma'am. There was one thing this morning. Yes? I saw Hakan debating with his neighbor. He seemed angry. As I came near, they suddenly stopped talking. Then they started laughing as if one had told a joke. He's planning something. Good work. Thank you, Mother. Hey. Mm, impossible. I can't carry As any more. As you can see, secrets don't stay secret for very long by Titi. If you were to deviate from the plan, you'd find out quickly. I see that. She's here to help me find something I lost. You don't have to worry about that. Was father a scout when he was my age? He was a hunter. Was he ferocious? But he was also very kind. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about it. The cult is increasing its guard. Why? Because of the storms. What can a guard do for a storm? I can see him. I'll explain it. Even if no one else can. <sighs> Beautiful. Greetings. Hello. The market has everything. Edsley, I'm sure she has seen many markets before. Outside? Yes. But ours is the best. We're not far now. this? Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is!
I know him. That's Dr. Dominguez. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation! Soon, our dreams of peace and safety will be realized! They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever! I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan, enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Go. Follow Esley. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. <laughs> Amar is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Jonah, can you answer? Yeah, me and Uchu set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here, but I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more.
All full up. Can't carry any more. I make my way all the way over to him, and he tells me we can't barter. Said I had nothing he wanted. Imagine that. Surrounded by garbage and entrails. And he thinks he can talk to me like that? Well, he just lost a customer. I'll never visit his stall again. All my business will be conducted at the market from now on. You're here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher in a new world. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them! A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh, you're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll tell you what, I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. I'm sorry. No one may enter.
don't have enough space for that. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead? I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Outcasts need only an ear to share their stories. Yeah, I can't figure out what this means. It is busy today. 
Kukulkan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches, but I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find them. It doesn't make any sense. Why go to the trouble of making up a riddle and then not having it pay off? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't a life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible. No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Setensasani. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her, 
They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Traska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. Have you come here to escape the bustle of the city? I swear, it gets louder and more crowded every day. The people are changing as well. They desire more and more, be it food or clothing or jewelry. Their eyes dart inside the homes of their neighbors, longing for the items they see. No one seems to be able to find contentment with what they have. It's too much. Sometimes I dream of sneaking away. Just getting into one of these boats and paddling up the river. I would do that, but this place is all I've ever known. It would be a huge...
the banks. arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. All full up. Can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. This is mirror one. I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach the altar.
I won't last long if I fall in the water. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. to hit this crystal with a beam from Mirror 3. To get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. <clears throat> Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. To get to Mirror 3, I'll have to turn. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. Numbered. This is mirror two. If I'm to get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. If I'm to get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. If 
I'm to get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. To get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. To get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two. To get to mirror three, I'll have to turn mirror two.
Corridor near Mirror Four.
Itzamna is the son of the Maya creator god, Hunabku. He was the god of education, responsible for inventing writing and books. This made him an essential figure in the development of Maya culture. He was also god of agriculture and created farming. He even presided over doctors, healing people with the help of his red-hot hand. Usually, Itzamna took on a reptilian aspect, but he was also known as Kinichahau, a fire McCall, who is the patron of the number four and controlled drought and disease. You said I'm a liar. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I sent people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. 
Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kulkulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me. The outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. Full up. Can't carry any more. Remac, I think we have a... Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Remak? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Remak? <laughs> He doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Remak. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Come find me if you need anything else.
It's difficult to make out. People settled between two rivers. They weren't alone. However, these outsiders don't appear dangerous. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unurato's line that sacrifices Kukukan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. <sighs> what you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. A 
ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. The sound emitted from the skull-shaped instrument has been compared to the tormented screams of the dying and the dead. Its shrill cry is said to clear a path to the underworld for the recently deceased. The death whistle has also been used as an instrument of war, its cry striking fear into the heart of the unknowing enemy. You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death, and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Ducky thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game, it's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop, artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Full up. Can't carry any more. Hey! I found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki.
Solón de cajón. Wow. 
Leti le jabob le gelo. Claro. 